Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm back from Clemens, North Carolina. You guys have probably already seen the, the show coverage videos there. But here are the spoils from the show and a few extras. So right to begin with, this, it, I, as far as I know, I always say, oh, I'm going to be, you never know what's going to happen. This is my next show that I plan to be at. This is the uh, SEMA Charleston chapter um, show. It's the uh, at North Charleston, South Carolina. It's uh, let me show you here. It's October the 14th. This was my very first model show, and I didn't get to go to it last year because it was canceled due to some uh, issues they had they experienced, so we couldn't go last year. Um, but yeah, so October 14th, 2023, I plan to be here. Got the theme of the 90s, and then they also have IPMS um, uh, stuff like your armor and your dioramas and things like that. So anyway, this is uh, the time, all the information you need to know. There's a, uh, it's at Cooksbury United Methodist Church Family Center. That's where it was that last time I went, and there's all that information. So just wanted to throw that out there again. I've mentioned it before, but you guys try to go if you if you're within about six hours that's how far I, <laughs> I drove to clemens now um if you're relatively close to this you should go to it it's a cool show enter something or just go take a look and buy some model kits from the vendors but yeah this is the next one that i plan to go to the one after that i don't have a flyer for it but it's going to be the acme southern national the uh 2023 southern nationals acme um is putting this on they have for, uh, for I don't know how many years now, a long time. I'll, um, I don't have a flyer for this, but anyway, it is Octo October the 27th and 28th. I'll, I'll find a flower and flash, flyer and flash it on the screen right here because that ain't working. But anyway, uh, you guys plan to go to Acme. If you've ever been to a great show, you've been to Acme because it is wonderful. It is awesome. Um, there will probably probably be at least 700 models there on display it's all autos uh auto related it's not an ipms show it's an nnl so anyway you guys plan to go to north charleston then let's hook it over to atlanta and uh do atlanta on october the, the two, uh, two weeks after this one so 14th and then the other one atlanta is the 27th and 28th 10 a.m to 4 p.m at the clear anyway you'll see the You'll see the uh, flyer if you haven't already. Also, another show that's coming up next year that I do plan to, to attend again, and I got this flyer from my good friend Dennis Smith, the MDA Model Car Contest Show and Swap Meet, March the 2nd, 2024. This is in Roanoke, Virginia, um, at the Berglund Center. It's a big, gigantic, like... Um, civic center type deal now the model show is not in there it's in a different facility but it's really big it's nice um yeah you guys plan to go to roanoke on march the 2nd bring a jacket it was kind of cool the last time me and mark batson went this is the um the cars of carol shelby uh is the theme so i know a lot of you guys have a bunch of cobras and things like that but um also have the information here on the back as far as uh all the categories and all that stuff if you'd like a copy of this or any of the others um just email me and i will scan you a copy of these and send to you but anyway those are some upcoming shows that i plan on being at and uh, would love to see you there also while at the show i uh, got a sticker Woo! wow there we go from the model car mafia now this is not the phoenix arizona model car mafia this is the clemens north carolina area maybe uh winston salem that area model car mafia if you want to look them up on facebook it's a facebook group it's a um, model car mafia est 2018 that's just how you'll find them on facebook so go check them out thank you for the cool sticker right here i'll put that somewhere and one other thing that i've been meaning to do since he started, um, is I wanted to shout out my good friend Tim Kalankowitz. Uh, 
if I think I pronounced it somewhat correct, but anyway, Tim Custom Models. And Tim is a absolute expert, professional model builder and has been doing it for a really long time and has the greatest of stories to tell about a lot of uh, the model kits that he has and he goes through and talks about them. Also is a just amazing customizer when it comes to model kits. So you guys go over. I will link Tim's channel in the description. If you're not already subscribed, go over there and check him out. Tim is also on the staff of Model Car Magazine. Model Cars Magazine. So, um, yeah, he's, uh, he's a great guy. Got to spend a few minutes with him at the show in Clemens and, uh, just, just a great guy. I'd love to go hang out with Tim a while, but anyway, yeah, go check him out. There's his email. I guess if you want a shop card and there's the YouTube and I doubt seriously, because, um, you probably wouldn't be able to scan that, but I will link Tim's channel in the description. So you guys go over there, give him a sub, let him know that uh, you're watching him or I sent you. You don't really have to tell him I sent you. That doesn't really matter to me. I just want you to go over there and support Tim. Anyway. All right. Now, I have I only bought a handful of model kits because my room is very limited. Very limited. And first, a friend came up to me, Mr. Kent Lawson. And he said, Matthew, I know that you like this small stuff. He said, so I thought this you would like this. Um... 1939 Mercedes 540k Ravel kit, but this is a 148 scale. Little teeny weeny. I won't open it all up. But anyway, I went through the parts. He he was thinking maybe the tires weren't there. They're all there. I didn't see anything missing. So uh what a cool kit. Now I built that in the monogram. It's right up here over my right shoulder. Um I've already got that, so it'd be cool to have a little miniature um kit sitting right beside it anyway thank you mr kent lawson i do appreciate it uh you giving me this that means a lot to me thank you so much um picked up this an intex triumph tr3 1959 i just got it because it looked unique it's 125th scale i'm sorry 124th scale <laughs> oh man check this out in Intex Industries Incorporated, Compton, California. Wow, they was in Compton. I've heard a bunch of rap songs made about Compton, but I've never heard a rap song including Intex. But anyway, yeah. So it's a cool little kit. It's brand new. It's it is brand new as far as never been started, but it does have a broken the broken uh, frame around the window is broken. But that's no problem. I went made sure that the pieces fit nice, and I can glue them right back. But the guy made me a really good deal on it. And uh, it's, it's a curbside, very simple kit, simplistic, but, I, you know, pretty neat. Thought it was cool. So I got that. Then I saw this, and uh, I thought that was neat. Super simple. There's only a handful of parts in this box. It's really simple. But it's the AMT, the vending machine. Um, I thought that was kind of neat. It's like a drink machine on wheels. So there's a show rod off. I always think about Kim over at Kim's Custom Garage over in Denmark. Every time I see a uh, every time I see a show rod, I always think about Kim because he he really really loves his show rods. So I thought that was cool. I had to build that up one day. Just a drink machine on wheels. Pretty cool. All right, pile these right in my way. All right, and then I saw this and knew I had to have it. I've seen it before, and this is a pretty old one. But the man gave me a great deal. It's this Tom, AMT Thomas Flyer. I just thought that's so cool. I've seen this kit um, for sale, uh, but I think I gave $20 for it. Um, winner of the famous 1908 New York to Paris race. So yeah, I just and it's the it's AMT out of the out of the 70s. I just think it's so cool, and I can't wait to build it. I will build this one for sure. Just love this this genre of cars and he had 25 on it but he sold it for 20. That's the kit number T232. But yeah, love these, love, love, love these uh these old cars. I love the fender. It looks like it's a piece of a two by eight. I don't know what that looks like on the uh that's what it looks like though. It looks like a piece of wood. I'm sure it is. But yeah, what a race car man. Crazy. 
Can you imagine? I guarantee there's a nice seat belt to be found. Then, uh, you might have seen this in the, um, where I was uh, looking at the vendors, but I went ahead and bought this, $15. Um, Hot Rod Magazine edition of the Camaro Street Machine. I, I don't exactly know, it's like a 70, late 70s um, Camaro. Not 100% sure, but it's kit number 717, 7117. And I saw it and I'm like, man, that is t that's just too cool. It's 1985 uh, release of this kit. And I just thought it was neat. So uh, I picked that up. Great price, man. You can't beat the prices at a swap meet. You just cannot beat it. I encourage you guys, if you have one within an hour or two, you should go to it if you if you are interested in getting some great deals. Then I got this 29 Model A Pickup Revell. It's the Street Demons Edition. This is a 1983 kit, and it's all cool in there. Uh, four-cylinder. Yeah, it's a four-cylinder truck. Um super cool i just thought man that's neat i actually on that video if you notice of me going through the vendors i pull out one of those trucks it's a Ravel, but it's red it's an earlier edition maybe it's not it's not like the street demons or anything it was a red and uh anyway it was it, i believe it's this exact same model because it was a four cylinder um but those kits were already started and i found this one it's unstarted kit and i just thought wow that's pretty cool these old old reveal kits are just i don't know these series that they had they just had the coolest box art some of them are just the most awful builds ever because they're so fiddly this one has opening doors and stuff like that it's probably gonna be a real pain but it's be a cool cool build so that winds up the model kit buys but there was the most cool thing that that i got and that was i got a top 10 award for um believe it or not it was well i mean I, I i believe it but i was proud of it but i took seven cars um and this is the one that got it it's my dodge my gtx from a usac bill so yeah took a top 10 i couldn't believe it i don't know how many cars were there but i feel pretty special when my i mean there, there's hundreds you know, and it's an NNL style at Clemens. So there's not like they're going to pick one or two from each category. So, I mean, to get a top 10, I was like, wow, man, that's awesome. So I'm so very happy about that and uh, so thankful for the whoever voted for it. Yeah, but I, I, I'm so proud of my old GTX. And um, one thing that it doesn't have is radiator hoses because I was telling someone at the show, I was like, I didn't really pay attention, but this is like a top fuel engine that didn't have a cooling system so there's like no water pump or anything like that so that's the only only downfall and i did display it with the hood off which i think it looks better with the hood on but the engine looks great i'm, I'm proud of that but i did display it with the hood off and still was able to get a top 10 with it uh, a big shout out to my friend alan qualls for printing those uh wheels i think that really is what makes this car is those ginormous dodge or chrysler style stock wheels i think that they are just the coolest so i want to say thank you again to alan for that but anyway that does it for my clemens north carolina ckm summer classic up in clemens north carolina i already said clemens at the village inn in clemens and got a top 10 man i can't believe it so so happy about that but anyway guys thanks for watching um short video yeah usually i come back with a trunk load but i just really i'm running out of space I, I told several people at the show I'm I don't have too many models I just don't have enough space there's a there's a huge huge difference in having too many and not having enough space so I don't have too many I just gotta find some more some other nooks and crannies to put them but anyway guys you take care don't forget to go check out hobbynutmodels.com it's where the paint on this came from and um, Mark helps me out a lot, so go check out hobbynutmodels.com. It's always linked in the description of the video. Don't forget to give this video a like, if you will, if you would. And uh, check out everything else in the description of the video. Anyway, guys, take care and hope to see you in October at uh, North Charleston, South Carolina. Wouldn't that be cool? All right, you guys take care, and we'll see you later. Bye.